quick uh, video of my buddy, my eye doctor. This is his brand new M240i 2024. This thing is sick. Look at the, look at the, look at the front lights, LEDs. Look at the grill. That grill is sick. I don't know, man. This front end I think I should have did the M4 the front end, something like this. Yep, got some new glasses for driving at night. <laughs> Shout out to Brian, Rashid is my, my eye doctor. So he just picked up a brand new M240i. So figured we'd do a quick video, congratulate him on his purchase. I think this is Alpine white is what they call it in BMW terminology. He just got it PPF. Look at the red brake calipers sick look at the black at the bottom man what do you guys think of this this car and expect m240i has the i think it's the b58 engine the nomenclature for bmw is so um they use so many numbers and stuff i don't always remember the, the names of the engines and the chassis and all that but m240i beautiful spec Full all-around cameras, just like my M4. I got my M4 outside. X drive. He wanted to have X drive, so that in Ohio we have weather, so you might get rain and snow and all kind of stuff. So he'll be prepared for that. I think all it needs is a um, window tent, man, and he's straight. Maybe lower it. Maybe do the uh, rear size skirts in the front lip. Oh man, this thing will be sick. Um, I recently drove the new Supra with the BMW engine, and it was one of the most fun cars I've ever driven in my life. And this has the same engine, but it's supposed to be like tweaked or hopped up a little bit more. I don't know what the, the sticker price is on this, but I'm thinking it's probably in the 50s or the 40s. Yeah, with film, film Brian yeah, I experience. Set, I have this set up as um, when you walk up to the car, it'll unlock. As you walk away, it'll lock and fold the mirrors. Okay. So, uh, two pulls, and then it just goes. All of them extra last. No, because it's got a double lock. Uh, one thing you need to be out here for is that. Make sure you wash your feet. If you ever have to jump the car, the battery's not up here. It's buried in the back, so you're, uh, you have a charge port here and then the ground here. What's the horsepower and torque on this thing? It's 
pushing the ass. It's three, three and five or something like that. Yeah. It's, it's got enough for no more. <laughs> He's just got enough. It runs, it's a screamer. Yeah. So if you want to get in, we'll yeah. keep your slope. Funny man, uh, boys and their toys, right? This is Christmas time. We got the little Christmas tree behind us. And what a way to celebrate by picking up a brand new BMW M240i, which is gonna be a lot of fun. One of the most fun cars you can get. So big shout out to Brian. Hope you enjoy it, man. Merry Christmas. You deserve it. I know you're putting in that work. But man, this is what's possible, man. I know you had to put in a lot of years of schooling to do what he does, uh, to be an eye doctor. Um, but it's moments like these when you remember why you work so hard because then you can afford to earn something like this so big shout out to brian man big shout out to everybody watching and tuning in to take in moments like this because i hope that these moments will be motivation for other people it just so happened coincidentally maybe by fate that i was walking in to pick up my glasses and brian was walking out to pick up his brand new uh bmw and I said, you know what? I'm in my M4 right now. Let me just follow you over there and check out the new whip. So I love stuff like this. I like about BMW man they pack the car with features and they have so many different models like they have so many models it's like they're really invested in making cars and they didn't give up on making sedans they didn't make give up on making coupes because a lot of auto man, audio auto manufacturers are making SUVs only but yeah let's get this cold start again let's get started yeah all right let me come around let me get them coming out Gotta show them the interior. Okay. Yo. You like it? Dude, this thing is so awesome. <laughs> you do that break-in period. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nothing over 45, uh, nothing over 100 mile an hour. Don't go to 100 mile an hour. Do not do anything over 4,500 RPMs for uh, 1,200 miles. 1,200 miles. You don't need to do an oil change or anything. It's just, they want you starting and stopping. Uh, and no racing on it to okay. get through the. Uh, in the when, the when I remote start it, does it automatically put the parking brake on? Because I noticed that. Yes. Okay, gosh. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Glad you told me that. Yeah. Look at the light pulsing on there. Crazy. Um, the are this, this may not be. All right, thank you. Too. Yeah, premium fuel. You got it. Right. Uh, thank you. I'm glad you told me that. I'd have been like. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to go flying on that. And so what I usually do is when I was in it last time, I come for my own sport setting. I put the steering in comfort, yep. driving comfort, yep. sport train, That's how I sport do. plus, transmission, sport plus. <laughs> that way it feels like it's nice. Yeah, you got the throttle feel. And then you can still hear it better. Ooh. Oh, the pops and bangs. Ooh. Well, AWB exhaust out there. Oh, yes. 
what? Yo, this is about to be sick, man. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks, man. I'm glad you got to see the base bill. You know, before I do any mods, you get to see the 100% stock car. So he's going to mod it. You guys I'm stay tuned. I'm going to try it easy. I'm okay. going to try, you know, at least uh, maybe an inventory intake and an AWB exhaust or something just to start with. Definitely a JV4 or some sort of tune. Oh, yeah. And I'll drive around for a little bit and then um, I'll build the head. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, I'm glad I could, could stop by, yeah, share the moment. Timing. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put, do a little video for you, man. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, we'll do it up. So, congrats. Enjoy the car. Thank you. 1200 mile break. In. I had to do the same thing on mine. Yeah. But I gotta take my. I gotta bring mine in at 1200 miles. Really? Yeah, I had to take mine to the shop. I'm still working. I only got 800 miles so far. Is that really? I mean, I only do that on BMW bikes at the S1000. But is it really mandatory on the like, car? Do you think? They say they say 4500. I mean, they told me they just don't go any above 4500. All right, so we're actually going to get a, a, a quick spin in the M240i. Pull that up. Let's see what this thing can do. <laughs> so, man, you're going to have some fun with this thing. Just, just in time for Christmas. Right? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> That's, that screen is crazy. It's bright. Look, I can't even tell who, who's in my... It lights up the passengers. Oh yeah, that's right. The little seating. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this thing is sick. I like that little touch of the lights right there. <laughs> He's a lead foot. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dang. Might have been a little over four thousand RPM. That but... thing sounds crazy. That's maybe like half halfway down man i'll tell you what man i'm not gonna lie i have uh extra oh uh, yeah dang those shifts are crazy yeah, is this a dual, it's not a dual clutch it's a torque okay torque. yeah mine's not either so but it man it's just good that x drive dude goodness oh yeah you're gonna have, you're gonna have a blast with this thing <laughs> it's not even tuned it no it's stock it, 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 it's crazy i was just telling um, my buddy i was like I don't really feel like I need to tune my car because it just pulls. Right? That's crazy. It's not even broken in yet. These cars are like notorious for getting stronger uh, as they break in. All right, yeah. This thing is sick, dude. Congrats again, yeah, man. Yeah, this is a heck of a car. It's wild, man. I can't believe it. So I was just congratulating Brian on his, on his new car. So on my channel, we try to motivate people. So I asked him if he would do us the favor of just dropping some like words of advice. Like if, if, he, if he was talking to his younger self, um, what would you say? Because I know you had to put in a lot of um, schooling to be an eye doctor, but there was some drive, I'm sure, behind that that made you go through everything you had to get to get to this point. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's well worth it in the end. I've only been graduated for about four years now. But when I was a kid, man, it, it took nine years of school after high school to get where I am now. And it's undergrad, it's grad, it's everything, all the applications that I did, all of the residencies, things like that, man. It, it, it sucked doing it. It was horrible, not going to lie. But once you come out, it's totally worth it. So what got you through, like, knowing that you could get to this point? Or, like, what was the drive? You know, it's hard because, you know, I'm like, you know, it, most people didn't do it. But I'm like, some people can do it. And I knew if some people can do it, if some people in my class can graduate, if there's other doctors out there that keep going, man, I can do it too. If someone else can do it, I can do it. You know, yeah, yeah. It, it can't be impossible. Yeah. It's hard, but it's not impossible. Yeah. And you keep working. I mean, I met Will through the S1000 I have. I got to be this BMW brand new now. I got a Porsche as well. It's just, it's only been out three, four years of graduated yeah. school. So, so it, it's hard work in the beginning pays off. I had nothing really in the beginning. Uh -huh. Living on student loans, barely making rent, you know, eating ramen noodles every night. <laughs> when you graduate, man, it's totally worth it. The more work you put in the morning, in the beginning, the better it'll pay off. I had some friends that graduated high school. You work a little job, you know, it's that. They do four years of college, you get paid more. Uh -huh. Six years of college, a little more, but man, do nine, you start, the, the payoff is more in the end. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. So let's put in that work, man, and you get to this point. And then the thing I like about this is, is this toys like this that are like the payoff for all of that hard work, man. So again, I want to say congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thanks for sharing the moment with us. Yeah, thanks for being here. And of course, see you. <laughs> awesome, man. Yeah, man. Enjoy the car. I'm sure we'll have some videos of oh, what you do sure. to it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We'll um, I'll be probably hooking up with Will, and we'll probably do some um, some mods to it, light mods to start with, and then do something a little later. 
Um, yeah. I already got some tuners lined up that I want to yeah. use to tune it with, and then um, yeah. we'll go up against the Lambo. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He'll probably smoke my Lambo. Yeah, right. All right, man, congrats. Thank you. Man, gotta love it, man. Congrats again to Brian. And congrats ahead of time for all of you all th- out there that are setting goals. You have aspirations yourself to uh, achieve your goals and dreams to be able to to afford stuff like that man these are just toys man that I mean of course you could get a regular car you know that uh, doesn't cost as much but when you work hard sometimes it's good to like reward yourself so that you remember why you work so hard so that you can afford the things that just make that everyday commute things that you do every day in everyday life that just become more enjoyable because you deserve it you worked hard you did the extra amount of work the extra amount of study or whatever it took to get there and achieve it so again congrats to my buddy brian man so happy for you it's uh a small thing in the grand scheme of things but a big thing when you think about all that hard work you had to put in to to get there so enjoy brother and everybody else out there stay blessed stay warm merry christmas happy holidays it's the one and only floyd money mayweather i'm here to tell you guys to go to wheel motivation the exotic cars is crazy i've been watching this show for a little while now and it's growing but we need everybody else to subscribe to wheel motivation and support wheel i'm supporting them you do the same